hi in this session I'm going to let you know regarding patterns which is circular patterns so for that you need to left click the new part okay and first let's start making a front plane normal sketch circle and from the center I'll make a circle let's I'll make it 50 okay and then close dialog features and then extrude it up till 10 yes it is 10 look here then make it okay so a circle this thing is ready now I'll make this thing normal unselect okay and uh, very quickly I'll show you what is a circular pattern you will find circular pattern over here go to linear pattern and then a down arrow left click this is a circular pattern okay so before making going to this option I'll make a small sketch small sketch over here somewhere select this face left click and then again one more okay let's say I want this to be 10 this is 10 it's too big make it 7 or 8 yes 8 is okay then okay and then go to features extruded cut I want through cut this is applying I want through this is a through cut okay done now we'll make this thing normal unselect left click for unselect and now I will use left click and then circular pattern yeah in circular pattern uh, a pattern can be made look how pattern is made over here reverse direction and over here pattern axis it wants axis so let us select the circle itself the circle itself now it's not selecting the circle I will s what I will do is features to pattern features to pattern means open the tree yes this is the feature which I want to make a pattern so cut actually will come over here 3 means how many circles you want and again let's try this thing let's try yes it's done so this is 3 number of circles at then 15 degrees look I, I will increase the degrees now look the degrees are increasing the circle goes far away let's say I want 10 number of circles look there are 10 number of circles which are placed at 32 degrees now I will show you some mats I will show you some mats and uh, let's say the basic engineering mats go to calculator first now for example if I say I want this thing at 10 60 degrees 10 circles and 60 degrees so 60 degrees but look what has happened 1 2 3 4 5 6 I can see only 6 circles in 60 degrees but I wanted 10 enter but no it still shows file okay let's make 8 circles no still not working so there is some problem so the problem is with engineering <coughs> I'll show you engineering a circle is 360 degrees okay so 360 degrees and if circles are at 60 degrees each then what will be the maximum circles in 60 degrees so 360 divided by 60 you can make only six circles so that's why one two three four five and six let's say I'll make this 
thing as 45 degrees look this is 45 now I'll show you making it 0 360 divided by 45 degrees so it will be 8 circles 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 let's say I want 10 number of circles here no but it's still 8 why because the degrees are 45 so this is engineering that each circle are placed at an angle of 45 degree to other for example only let's say if there are two circles so the angle between these two circles is 45 degrees let's say I want three circles the angle between these two circles first and two is 45 second and third is 45 I'll make it okay in this case I'll make it okay yes look I've made the patterns now I will draw a sketch I will draw a center line and this face over here look the center line passes should pass to the center of the circle it should pass ideally what my aim is I'll show you what my aim is here there are three circles which are pattern but let's say uh, let's say coming out of this sketch okay and then I will suppress it suppress this circular pattern like this okay there is only one circle now now I want to make a pattern. Pattern can be made in other ways also. So I'll show you the other way. Now other way is going to features and then linear pattern. Then again circular pattern. Left click. Now the other method is initially what we selected. We selected this edge. Boss X shoot. We selected features to pattern which was the cut X shoot from the tree this is the tree cut extrude from the tree and then we selected this this it shows pattern axis but this is not an axis what is it it's an edge edge of a circle the edge of the circle itself acts as an axis so in this case we were able to do circles around the boundary but the other method is cancel it the other matter is we need to make a temporary axis so go to view and then there's a temporary axis left click now can you see the temporary axis here I'll zoom in for you this is known as temporary axis now back I will make it normal and select and then I will again select circular pattern for you okay now here the temporary axis will be this one selected yes it, it has been selected as axis one and features to pattern cut extrude look now I will increase the degrees to 60 degrees and I don't want three on file I still want one more so again I will show some maths 360 divided by 60 so maximum of six circles can be made okay close it make it okay and yes we have made the pattern of six circles now let's see you can see the temporary axis between all these circles look the degree between all these circles is 60 so first circle with the sex second circle is 60 degree similarly second and third is 60 if you want to see that I need to make it normal and then what I will be doing is I'll sketch something I'll sketch a line from here this face one and two okay done 
again from here I will make a line this and this okay now let's check through smart dimensions click here and click here this line look this is 60 okay again click here and click here look again this is also okay 60 so they are placed at an angle of 60 degrees because you some of you might not know what are 60 degrees what are 30 what are 45 how you can make different kind of circles so if you are an engineering guy you might be knowing but if not then you need to know this thing so this is about circular pattern but now what kind of things can you do with circular patterns that is that is most necessary so for that let's see what can be done so make it back and then again suppress it look how suppress this I also don't want this cut texture yes now make it normal and select by left click and then what I'll be doing is I will do something else something very different for that select the line this face and then we'll draw something left click so up till here and then up till here escape and now I'll draw three point arc so one point another point so let's close this thing over here yes it's closed now zoom out and back okay now we'll make it extrude cut extruded cut yes over here itself and uh, okay yes this is done now so now what I'll be making is again a sorry this is linear pattern cross it make it a circular pattern over here and uh, look this is temporary axis we click here yes and 6 of the 15 degrees we'll make it at 45 degrees yes and still I want more I'll make it 8 8 okay and then this is cut extrude features to pattern make it okay look what I've made I made a kind of gear a kind of gear which has been made now again what to do with this but if you want to make a very different kind of gear then this is not the normal regular gear this is a kind of shape shape of a gear but before that I also don't want this cut extrude yes I want this making it normal and this is not normal this is normal and select and then sketch and this is a se select the face this is origin as a zoom in yes origin as the center orange dot make a circle over here yes and now I'll sketch something then sketch what to sketch I'll select a spline ok I'll select a spline and zoom out and be comfortable <coughs> start drawing something let's draw arc up till here somewhere here somewhere okay escape and then Mm, one more arc from here 
till here and then oh yeah okay close now what to do is we'll select a three point arc as before so this is one this is two and this becomes the third one okay so this is the thing which we made but you not close this thing but that's okay escape so before closing this let's try if cut extrude works features extruded cut look now cut extrude works over here over here over here over here but I want here let's click this and cut extrude yes this is done now what we can do is let's try a pattern whether this pattern works or not go to circular pattern and then 15 degrees we make it more 25 and then this becomes the temporary axis ah 30 degrees 30 degrees works we'll make it 45 look now see how the shape of the gear will be or we'll select 50 if it is okay 50 no 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 50 is not okay 45 was okay so this is 45 and then what I'll be doing is okay look uh, gear has been make, made uh, which is very very similar to the original gears so this was only to show you how a gear can be made yes definitely it can be made in this way but you know many a times what happens is if you want to make a particular gear then a simple method will be you draw a sketch first okay you draw a sketch and then after drawing that sketch go to circular pattern in sketch itself this is a sketch and this is a linear sketch pattern so there will be a circular sketch pattern in the sketch sketch based features itself and then extrude it so it will be more easy for you rather than going to features and making and then making an extruded cut so it won't be more proper but still this shows how a circular pattern can be made in this way so you can also fillet the different edges to make the gear look smooth like go to fillet and just showing you one of the options in fillet manual fillet which will be constant radius and then not 10 less than that which will be 20 30 so 10 make it file this is file and then okay look so uh, this is how you can fillet and make a gear and it looks great but still I suggest you go to sketch and make a proper gear with angles so it will work for you so this was about circular pattern thank you